good afternoon everyone uh, present uh, over here in this virtual platform i welcome you all uh, my dear uh, participants so let's we'll wait for some time let uh, everyone uh, to join after that we'll start i believe uh, all of you are ready with your uh, presentation so all the very best to the participants so dear participants let's start our uh, computer science exhibition exhibition sneha sri if you are uh, present uh, please uh, start your presentation sne yes sir sneha sri are you ready yes sir okay we need technology in every classroom and in every student and teacher's hand because it is the pen and paper of our time and through which we can explore much of our world good afternoon everyone respected judges knowledgeable teachers and my dear participants i snashri from class 6c is going to tell about some fascinating features of google meet yes let's meet google meet and learn something more about it google meet is google's video conferencing software available for everyone having a google account extended features are available for enterprise purpose through google workspace you can set up a meeting up to 250 participants and can live stream it up to as many as small like people so now let's explore more about it google meet has unlimited video calling tile layout view background visual effect present only what you want assigning co-host improved video quality in low light conditions fight board integration breakout room raise hand add caption using any language host control and end call for all participants so now let's go for live demonstration so in google meet we can see this uh, sharing link information this green button is the speaker button these two red buttons are for mic and camera you can turn on a turn of it if required so we can now see the caption button here we have languages like french german portuguese spanish etc this one is the raise hand Here we have present screen. We have three types of options in present screen. This one is your entire screen, or a specific window, or a tab. In tab, the video's uh, audio will be uh, hearable to the participants. Now let's go for more options. So the first one is whiteboard. We have to click on start a new whiteboard, and the jam will be ready. we can access our whiteboard here now we have changed layout we have four types of layout here like auto tile spotlight and sidebar now we have full screen or exit full screen now the interesting feature is apply visual effects we have slightly blurred your background or blurred your background and many more interest, interesting backgrounds here i have already told about captions the next is use a phone for audio we can't enter our phone number here as india is not in this list report a problem you can include your screenshot here and send to google meet 
Next is report abuse. You can describe your abuse here and send. This one is troubleshooting and help. In troubleshooting, we can check our network stability and there are many help here, which we can send to Google Meet. Next is settings. In settings, we have four options, audio, video, host control, and caption. Now let's go to meeting details. I've already shown about this. This one is the participant list. How to, we have to click on, uh, on more options and click on add as co-host to make a person as co-host. We can also remove a, as co-host. We can add people by typing their email ID. Now let's go for host control in details. The host cannot allow their participants to share their screen or send messages if these two options are turned off. The host, if these two options are turned off like microphone and video, the host will only be able to turn on their microphone or video if required. So this one is the chat box. You can send live chat messages. This one is the activity corner. We have whiteboard here. I've already shown about this. This one is host controls. Now let's go for breakout rooms. Breakout room is used to create multiple number of meetings simultaneously. But breakout room is only available in the paid version of Google Meet. If you want to use it in the free version of Google Meet, you can add extension from Chrome Web Store. So now let's explore about breakout rooms. So how to create a breakout room? Here you have to click on rooms. And this one is the plus sign to create the breakout room. Here I have to type the room name. Here I have to click on save to generate the links. So now to join the breakout room, you have to copy the link. And paste it on the on a new tab. Here I have joined the computer breakout room successfully. So now I will be joining the mass breakout room. So here I have joined both the breakout rooms successfully. So now let me show you how to remove the breakout rooms. Here is one red minus option. You have to click on it to remove the breakout rooms. So now let me show the last feature that is end call for everyone or just leave the call. So here I will, here I will be clicking on end the call for everyone. So the participants will be removed automatically from the call and the call will be ended. After removing the breakout room and ending the main meeting, my two breakout rooms are still existing. Now I request honorable judges to share their valuable suggestions. Has the your presentation was very nice on your topic, Thank you. topic uh, Google Meet. Many in, uh, interesting features are there for uh, this virtual teaching learning process. As you, yes, sir. As you uh, told about the breakout rooms, that feature is available in paid version. Okay. Yes, sir. So can you can you uh, tell me? Can you tell all of us what are the other uh, similar platforms like Google Meet? Okay. Sir, Microsoft Team, Zoom. Okay. Uh, have, have, you, have you noticed what is the duration of a meeting in uh, Google Meet uh, with the free version? Maximum is 60 minutes. Maximum is 60 minutes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And now, Varda, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, any any question from your end? No, sir. No, sir. Your your feedback, sir, please share. 
sir very good nice nice presentation thank you sir okay thank you thank you everyone for your patient hearing thank you once again snehasri sir yes. now we'll move on to the next project rajveer choudhary from 6e rajveer are you present yes sir i'm present okay so please carry on with your presentation okay sir good morning everyone myself rajveer choudhary tulala from class 6 section e today i am going to present on my chosen topic the role of social media in business communications role of social media in business communication is basically about building a conversation with one's clients and consumers companies are successfully using social media to drive sales build traffic find employees build community and create a positive well known brand social media can be leveraged to create wonderful marketing masterpieces big names like apple amazon and other popular big brands have successfully used social media to increase their sales brand and the community around their products now i am going to exactly explain what is social media social media is an online content created by people using highly scalable and accessible publishing technologies in its basic sense it's a shift in how people discover read and share news information and content <clears throat> it's a fusion of sociology and technology transforming monologues into dialogues and is the democratization of information transforming people from content readers into publishers social media allows people to connect in the online world to form relations or personal political and business views these are the best social media platforms to grow your business and this was all tracked in the year 2021 <clears throat> now i'm going to list out some commonly used social media for business communications and that are youtube facebook instagram linkedin and pinterest youtube is also known as the king of video sharing communities where video content can be uploaded viewed and shared why we use youtube for business communications video content is a powerful branding tool huge potential to get your message in front of a wide content audience video content is quite easy and inexpensive to produce facebook it is a great platform for making a connection with your customer is the social network with the largest number of users why we use facebook for business communication it provides great exposure it provides powerful marketing platform for free it facilitates online discussion to gain valuable inputs it helps it in being connected with the customer now the next slide is the instagram you all may be using instagram in your daily life for your entertainment and for fun for the kids now why we use instagram for business communications an instagram profile gives you access to promoted posts and instagram ads providing you with tools to grow your reach and engagement instagram ads use the same powerful advertising tools as facebook so you can set up run and track campaigns the same way you do with facebook ads linkedin it is also known as the daddy of business based social networks because we only get business based things on that network we why we use linkedin for business communication to join groups of one's customers and prospects are to recruit new hires to conduct market research to ask for testimonials or reviews pinterest it is used to find ideas for one's projects and interests it acts as personalized media platform users can browse the contents on others on the main page users can personalize their experience with pinterest by pinning items creating boards and interacting with other members <clears throat> before i sign out i wanted to say what jeff bezos ceo at amazon.com has to say about networking if you make customers and happy in the physical world they might each tell six friends if you make customers and happy on the internet they can each tell to 6000 friends this is what the power of social networking thank you and have a nice day ahead thank you rajveer for your uh, presentation on uh, role of social media in business communication rajveer in your topic other than ppt have you have you uh, done something else 
in your presentation other than ppt have you done no sir i found only rajveer uh, okay you are uh, simply reading out your ppt okay uh, please don't mind this okay the role of social media and business communication undoubtedly social media plays a vital role in the upliftment of business okay uh, and uh, for the growth of business okay any type of business whoever is uh, doing okay social media plays a vital role um, one question to you rajveer does it have any negative impact social media does it have any negative impact sir uh, social media may have negative impacts so like uh, it may affect so social media uh, has no such negative impacts it may have sir but i have no idea like that that it has some negative impacts sir sir for me it's, it has no such but uh, for kid it may be having sir kids it may be having sir in business there is no impact okay are you, are you using any social media or are you accustomed uh, with any social media yes sir i am using youtube sir i make videos on youtube and i upload on my channels okay. sir i use social media youtube okay thank you rajveer bardha sir please uh, share your feedback or anything you would like to ask yes sir uh, so actually rajveer you i thought uh, you have not completed your project only you have read the ppt and um, what activities you have done that related to that business any activities you have done sir i didn't understand no as you are doing project so you must have done some activities related to your project have you done that uh, uh, any activities no no sir okay. okay so you prepare more okay it is not sufficient for you so i uh, what i feel that you are just reading the ppt okay okay sir okay thank thank you sir thank you rajveer now we'll move on to the next topic new technology of computer and the presenter is uh, tipli sarkar yes sir okay. please carry on Good afternoon, one and all present over this virtual platform. I, Titli Sarkar of Class Six Section E, going to present my PPT on my chosen topic: New Technology of Computers. The contents are robotics, data science, machine learning, bioinformatics, first type development, virtual reality, and rocket science. Before going to the main points, I would like to give the introduction. so the introduction goes like this the 21st century has seen a technological revolution several highly commercial and widely used technologies from the early 2000s have completely vanished and other ones have replaced them these latest technologies are only going to get better in 2023 and they may even make it into the hands of the average individual now let's come to our main topic robotics Robotics is a branch of engineering that involves conception, design, manufacture and operation of robots. The objective of robotics field is to create intelligent machines that can assist humans in a variety of ways. Robots can take on a number of forms. It may resemble a human or it may be in the form of a robotic application such as robotic process automation RPA which stimulates how humans engage with software to perform repetitive rule based tasks. while the field of robotics and exploration of potential uses and functionality of robots have grown substantially in the 20th century the idea is certainly not a new one now we come to our second point data science data science continues to evolve as one of the most promising and in demanding career paths of skilled professionals today successful data professionals understand that they must pass the traditional skills of analyzing large amounts of data 
data mining and programming skills in order to uncover useful intelligence for their organization. Data scientists must master the full spectrum of data science life cycle and possess a level of flexibility and understanding to maximize returns at each phase of the process. Here I have gave one logo of data science and data science, the analysis, structure, allotrium, process, programming, solving and knowledge. These are some points of data science. Now we come to machine learning. Machine learning is nothing computers to tackle tasks that have until now only been carried out by people. From driving cars to translating speech, machine learning is driving an explosion in the capabilities of artificial intelligence, helping software make the sense of messy and unpredictable real world. So the introduction to machine learning is ordinary system with AI, machine learning learns, predicts and improves. Now we come to our next point, bioinformatics. Bioinformatics as a new emerging discipline combines mathematics, information science and biology and helps answer biological questions. The word bioinformatics was first used in 1968 and its definition was first given in 1978. Bioinformatics has also been referred to as computational biology. But however, strictly speaking, computational biology deals mainly with modeling of biological systems. The main components of bioinformatics are the development of software tools and the analysis and interpretation of biological data by using a variety of software tools. Bioinformatics, computer science, chemistry, biochemistry, biology, statistics, mathematics, engineering are all bioinformatics only. Now, full stack development. Full stack development refers to the development of both front end, client side, back end, server side, portions of web application. Full stack web developers have the ability to design complete web applications and websites. They work on the front end, back end, database, and dubbing of web applications and websites. Full stack web development services are the same as front end, back end, and database. Now we come to our topic, virtual reality or VR. Virtual reality VR is the use of computer technology to create a stimulated environment. Unlike traditional user interfaces VR, the user inside an experience. Instead of viewing a screen in front of them, users are immersed with a 3D world by stimulating as many senses as possible, such as hearing, touch, even smell. Thus, computer is transformed to a gatekeeper to this artificial world. The only limits to near real VR experiences are the ability of content and cheap computing power. Rocket lights. When a rocket is in the flight, four forces act on it. Weight, thrust, and the two aerodynamics is the branch of science that explains the motion of air and the forces on the bodies moving through the air. Thank you everyone for your patience hearing. Thank you, Titli, for your energetic presentation. We have uh, uh, chosen the topic new technology of computer and uh, many, many such new technologies you have included in your topic. Okay. So I would like to ask you a few questions. Uh, Titli, please tell all of us. Uh, how robotics and machine learning uh, help in our day-to-day uh, -day life work? Uh, how it can help in our day-to-day -day life work? Robotics and machine learning. So robots can make our work easy as humans tackle with the computers as the same way robots can also tackle with the computer works and many other things it can do. As now many uh, robots have made the, like that it has sensing power also and uh, it does our means printing works etc. Okay, in near future robots are going to replace human work completely. Hmm? Are we, um, should we rely on robots for all such works? No sir. Yes. Okay, so these are very vast topic, uh, robotics, machine learning, okay, till present date, uh, research is going on, okay. 
yes sir we are yet to achieve uh, more uh, new features in all these uh, fields okay robotics and machine learning yes. anyway your presentation was really nice now i request gorda sir to please uh, share his valuable feedback and in case any question sir would like to ask sir please so you actually so okay sir so actually students uh, you have told that front end and uh, back end so can you elaborate what is front end and what is back end sir so front end means to the client side and back end means server side sir okay so examples of front end and back end system sir so example is, uh, judgment like in the code judgment no no in the technical technical field i am telling you tell me one technology that who is using front end and back end system so our internet is using no front end and back end we are accessing google page okay yes. google page stored in the server we are accessing on our browser so our browser is the front end and server is the back end okay sir. okay okay sir okay sir thank you sir thank you atithi once again now we'll move on to the next topic that is about antivirus dibyan subani dibyan subani if you are present please start your presentation good afternoon honorable judges and respected teachers myself dibyan supani from class 7 section a and this is my computer science presentation which is about the antivirus so the first question that arises from our mind is what is an antivirus antivirus is a malware remove software which helps in preventing detecting and removing malware with the proliferation of other malware antivirus now started to protect computer from other threats nowadays the modern antivirus software can protect users from malicious browser helper objects like trojan horses women spyware some product also include protection from other computer threats such as infected malicious urls spam scam emails phishing attacks etc so as i said about it protects the malware now we'll know what is a malware Malware is a software which is mainly designed to cause a disturbance or disruption in a computer or a client, which uh, which leaks the private information, gain unauthorized access to information system, deprive users access to information, or unknowingly that interferes with the user computer security and privacy. It poses serious problems to individuals and businesses. Types of malware. Many types of malware exist, which are common in um, computer viruses, worms. Trojan horses, ransomware, spyware, adware, rock software, viper, and scareware. The different strategy of the antivirus companies have started in fighting against malware by making uh, a malware to be thwarted by installing an antivirus software, firewall, applying regular patches to reduce zero-day attack, securing network from intrusion, having regular backup, and isolating infected systems. Malware is now being designed to evade antivirus software detection algorithms. types of malware as i said before and are malwareizing viruses worm trojan ransomware bot adware spyware rootkit fireless malware identification methods there are several methods which antivirus engines can use to identify a malware the first common that the antivirus uses is the sandbox detection it is a particular behavior based detection technique that it executes the program in a virtual environment it logs what the action does the program performs depending on the action log the antivirus engine can determine if the program is malicious or not the second one is the latest one that is data mining technique it is one of the latest approaches applied in malware detection data mining and machine learning algorithm are used to try 
to classify the behavior of a file as either malicious or binning given a series of file features that are extracted from the file itself. Now we talk about the performance while using antivirus. Antivirus software has some drawbacks too. First of which that it can impact a computer's performance. Furthermore, inexperienced user or new users to computer can be lulled into false sense of security when using the computer, considering the computer to be invulnerable and may have problems understanding the prompts and decisions that antivirus software presents with them. An incorrect decision may lead to a security breach that can help that private information to be leaked. If the antivirus software employs heuristic detection, it must be fine-tuned to minimize misidentifying harmless software as malicious or we call it as false positive. Now we talk about the types of antivirus. Antivirus software running on individual computer is the most common method employed of guarding against malware, but it is not only solution. Other solutions can also be employed by users, including UTM, that is Unified Threat Management, hardware and network firewalls, cloud-based antivirus, and online scanners. The first one I'm going to say about is hardware and network firewall. Network firewall prevent unknown program and processes from accessing the system, but these are not antivirus system and make no attempt to identify remove anything from the computer. They just only protect the computer against the infection from outside or from the internet and limit the activity of any malicious software which is present by blocking or in blocking the incoming or outgoing request on the certain IP ports. A firewall is designed to deal with broader system threats that come from network connection into the system and is not an alternative to a virus protection system. Now the second type is online scanning. Some antivirus vendors maintain website with free online scanning capability of the entire computer in critical areas, local disk, and in folders or files. Periodic online scanning is a good idea for those that run antivirus application on their computer because those applications are frequently slow to catch threats. One of the first thing that malicious software does in an attack is disable any existing software and antivirus software. And sometimes the only way to know of an attack is by turning to an online resource that is not on, installed on the infected computer. Now, the common antivirus that we use in our computers are Quick Heal, ABG, MCFE, Afast, Kaspersky, and Norton. The most common and safe browsers that we usually do in doing browsing or surfing in the internet are Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Opera, Brave Browser, and Safari in iOS or iPhones. Thank you very much judges and teachers for spending your auspicious time for my presentation. Have a good day ahead. Thank you, Dibyansu. Uh, Varda sir, uh, uh, please share your feedback. Dibyansu? Yes, sir. You have told the various uh, types of uh, malware and uh, antivirus. And, yes, sir. So I am telling you also what are the Similarities in between antivirus and uh, firewall. Sir, uh, antivirus can do only detection in, in the computer, but in firewall, it acts as a gateway in, in internet. Like in Mozilla Firefox, it doesn't work to anything in computer, but during internet, when we surf or we do any transaction, it helps in to, so that the, not any virus comes to our computer. But in antivirus, it scan only the computer. So you have told me the differences. I am asking you that similarities. That similarities? Yes. The similarity is that the, both of them work in, in to remove the malware, sir. So there's only similarity I know, sir. Okay, both of them uh, depend to the uh, virus. Yes, sir. Thank you. Some can protect from big, big viruses. Some cannot protect from big, big viruses. Okay. Okay, so generally hackers uh, use the antivirus uh, or hackers create the uh, virus so by using uh, or in which platform operating system sir uh, hackers use some different type of browser for example tor or onion browser or in dark web so um, to create viruses thank they you can... thank you it's... thank you sir thank you sir you can ask questions thank you sir uh, Dipyansu, uh, yes, are, are you aware about uh, virus uh, signature database in antivirus? 
Are you aware? I'm very sorry, sir. I just heard from you, sir. I'm very sorry. I don't know about it, sir. Okay. Just I know that the viruses are common due to this COVID time, uh, and that's why we should protect our computer and by installing firewall and antiviruses. Okay. And we should also apply VPNs for when we are internet using the internet, sir. Okay. Undoubtedly, it is a, a good practice to use a and good antivirus in our computer system. Okay, to make our computer system secure. But apart from that, we also need to. Keep our antivirus up to date. Okay. Yes, sir. Because the old version system. can also detect only some small viruses, but by updating, it can detect new viruses, new type of virus. Yes, it is not a matter of small and big uh, because uh, day by day, new types of uh, mal malwares, okay, unwanted uh, files which can harm our computer, they are evolving, okay, and they are yes, uh, made available in a network as uh, we are. Uh, browsing internet okay so there is a risk of uh, having a virus in our computer system which may harm so we need to keep our antivirus up to date so that it can detect okay yes sir and you said about uh, you mentioned about firewall in your presentation so yes, sir. please elaborate firewall a little bit what is a what, what is actually a firewall Sir, firewall is a uh, is a program made to um, prevent unknown program from internet or from the accessing a system. They will act as a gatekeeper from the internet so that the only good thing or safe thing come to a computer and uh, the viruses or malicious files which are in internet will prevent them. They are not like antivirus system and they don't make any attempt to remove or to identify anything from computer, but just they only act as gatekeepers. They only protect you know, infection from outside and keep the computer protected. If any malicious thing is mm, coming, then it shut down the IP port we are using. Or in, in Google, when we search, it will say that this uh, website is not good for you. So you can enter it. Okay. So in your opinion, can you name a good antivirus? Sir, in my good op my opinion, good antivirus is quick heal, sir. It is cheap and very good also. It works in different fields. It are can also are, act as a firewall also. Are you are you using Quick Hill in your computer? Yes, system? sir. Yes, sir. In my computer, I use Quick Hill. Okay. Okay. Ap apart from this presentation, uh, uh, have you made any other thing? Mm, I'm very sorry, sir. I have not made any other thing. I've only made a presentation only about antivirus. Okay, anyway, thank you, Dipyansu. Thank you, sir, for asking questions, sir. Now, we'll move on to next topic. That is about Scratch, Sai Siddhi. Sai Siddhi, are you ready? Okay, please carry on with your uh, presentation. Programming is not about what you know, it's about what you can figure out. Good afternoon to all respected judges, respected principal ma'am, coordinating teachers, and all my dear friends. This is Sai Siddhi from class 7C, going to share whose topic is coding begins with scratch. So what is scratch? Scratch the field platform, which encourages the students to develop their games making capacity. It helps them to make free games by commands given to it while making the game. Scratch is a high-level block-based visual language and website targeted primarily at the children as an, as an educational tool for programming. Users on this site are also called as scratchers. So what are the properties of this program? This element, the elements in the games are known as sprites. These sprites can be made by us, can be imported and also are available in the application. There is also a background option through which we can add a background or remove. What are programming languages? There are many programs or commands which help us to make the game. 
these are divided into some groups. The name of the groups are number one, motion group, number two, looks group, number three, sound group, event group, number five, control group, number six, sensing group, number seven, operators group, number eight, variables group, number nine, my blocks group, and number ten is fence group. These groups are also known as blocks. So using blocks and flash. To use a block simply, we have to select the asset that is applied to and then drag it onto our script pane. Types of blocks in Scratch. The Scratch gives us 10 categories of blocks, each of which includes a number of blocks you can use to make a game. So what are the importance of each group? So motion block group. As the name suggests motion, this helps in the movement of the sprite. Now looks block group. Look when to change your costume, where to change the background, etc. This is a sound block group. This takes care of sounds and graphics, which are very important in a game. Event block group. This takes care we, when we should start the game, when to stop actions in the game, when to do different activities, etc. Control block group. Control blocks are color coded and are used to control scripts and enhance its running. Blocks are inside this block and will look before allowing the script to continue. So, what is sensing block group? Sensing blocks that sense the mouse, keyboard, and other parts. These make it easy for us to create and play. So, what is pens block? This block helps us to annotate in the game and convert the sprite into a writer. We can change the pen settings in the command. What are the variable blocks? Variables are used whenever a project requires a value to be stored and remember. This helps us to set the score to make the player win or lose in a game. What are operator block group? The operator contains block like arithmetic operator, relational operator, boolean operators, etc. To compare and do some actions or calculate points in a game. My blocks and some others. This block helps us to create our own block. Some more games with camera and audio sensing features are available in this application. Some sort of information about Scratch. The area where the blocks from the blocks palette are used to write the script is known as the script area. The area is called the stage. The sprite is a small graphic object that moves independently around the stage, producing many effects. To save a project, we have to click on files, then save this to computer. If we want, if you want to open a game file which you have saved, then click on the file option and then load it from my computer. To share your game, click on share, fill the required information, and click OK. This must be of 10 MB, or else it can't be uploaded. The scratch is free to all users. So what are the advantages? Helps to increase the interest of the children and increase their imagination of making games. So now I will go to scratch and load my sub projects to show you the live demonstration. So the scratch interface looks something like this. So these are the motion block groups, looks block group, sound block group, event block group, control block group, sensing block group, operators block group, variables, and my block. So we can add the pen block group from here as it is not normally present. Now I will load my project as per the command. So first I will go to file and then press load from your computer. Now I will uh, click a game which I have made. 
So I have made this badminton clear with setting. So we can zoom this from full screen control. These are the introduction and these are the commands as per it is given. So for the movement, I am motion block, I upgrade all these arrow keys. And for uh, shooting or in actions, I have pressed this keys and space for any shoot. And again space to start the game. So for starting first, I have pressed this from the event block. So I will press this to start and then press space key. So now I will just uh, move this from here to here or this uh, from jump it or do any type of shoot by pressing space. And I can also stop the game if I press this red key. So there are total this much of motion blocks. And the loop block where we can say anything or switch costumes and do a back change backdrop, which is the, this background or stage. So these are the sounds. These are the events. In this, I have pressed this to start the game. So it is uh, the game is starting when I just press this key. Then is the control key where we can wait or loop the video for a number of times if this will happen then what will happen else what will happen repeat and when i start as a clone delete clone etc the sensing block group touching the mouse pointer touching color color touching distance ask what you ask and answer or uh, any keys press mouse down mouse x and y so x and y are this position so if uh, i will see x is the horizontal position and y is the vertical position now operator, these are the arithmetic, relational and boolean operators. These are the variables which I have made on my own for this game. And then there are my block. So I have not made any my block for this game as all the required blocks were in variables. Now this is the pen block. For erase, stamp, pen down, pen up, set pen color, change set, change pen size, set pen size, and it's the music. Some games also require, as I have said, video sensing, text to speak, Lego Mindstorm, which will uh, make uh, automatic robot and any more micro bit connect our project with the world, translate many languages, hey, make any uh, thing uh, of uh, please, please hold on. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you for your yes. presentation. Any more things you have made? No, sir. Okay, okay, Th thank you. Okay, we have, have you made such type of games the way which you have demonstrated? Which, have you have you made such type of more games? Sai Sai Siddhi. Have you made such type of games? Any other games have you made? Yes, sir, I have made. Okay. Yes, sir. By your own or with the guidance of any of your teacher? No, sir. My sir has just helped me to make uh, one to two games. After that, I have made all on my own. Okay. Okay, Sai so Siddhi, tell me. Uh, can we yes, made sir. our can we make our uh, own sprite in scratch can we make our own sprite any uh, yes sir okay. how to yes, how, sir. There is how to make for that let me go sir i'm sorry that to make a sprite we have to go to this uh, sprite pane and then choose a sprite option will be there there will be a paint option we have to click on that then we, uh, we will be redirected to this tab which is also known as costume. So here there are many options to paint our sprite. We can do anything as a sprite and anything we will do will uh, shown in this uh, this paint. Okay. The okay. game paint we also say. Okay. okay, thank you. Sai Siddhi. Or sir, our uh, sprites can also be imported or okay. uploaded. Okay, okay, thank you. 
Varda sir, please share your uh, feedback and uh, any question if you would like to ask, please. I see the, you have done project. I think uh, yes, you have the complete knowledge about the start. So can you tell me uh, what is the similarities in between uh, turn command and point in direction command? That turn yeah, command and what? Can you tell me uh, that uh, what is the similarities in between turn command and point in direction command? In scratch, that in point, that in pointing direction command, we just uh, use our mouse or any key to point the sprite, and in turn command, uh, we can. Move the sprite uh, as per the uh, direction we have uh, saved in our command. Is there any similarities? The similarities will, um, if we will also press the Tom command, we can, as per the codings, we can also move the sprite according to that direction. And if we will also press the point in direction command, it will also face that direction. So the direction facing will be same and nothing more. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir, and thank you, Sai Siddhi. Now, uh, before we'll move on to the next uh, uh, topic, so dear participants, I would like to tell you, so please stick to the time and uh, be very precise with your presentation, okay? Uh, what I found, uh, whatever presentations have been presented in this platform, some of you are only reading uh, your uh, slides, whatever PPTs you have made, you are simply reading out, which is not at all desirable, my dear uh, students. It is fine, you have made, uh, in your PPT you have added uh, creative contents, be very precise while presenting, okay? And uh, please avoid uh, reading out the contents line by line. I believe uh, sir will also agree with me, Borda sir? Yes, sir. Okay. So, dear uh, student, uh, participants, please stick to the time bound, okay? And uh, try your best to present your topic within uh, five minutes. Now, we'll move on to the next topic, FPS game, Tanu Shahu. Yes, Tanu Shahu, if you are present, yes, please sir. Uh, carry on with your uh, presentation. Okay, sir. Sir, is my screen visible? Yes, yes, your screen is visible. Please carry on. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, respected judges, knowledgeable teachers, and my dear friends. And Tanusha of 7F42. Nowadays, people are stuck in the home due to the pandemic. Because of this, people are in a state of boredom. To overcome their boredom, it is a small step by me. I have made a shooting game in which you have to shoot some targets in a specified time, or else you will lose the game. One can change the graphic settings of this game in the options menu. For now, I am going to set it as low. There are also two environments in this game. One is the industrial area and the other one is the spaceship. For now, I am going with the spaceship level. As you can see, my game has loaded up and there are so, a little bit of targets here and there. So, to shoot the target, and to shoot the target, you need to press the left, left mouse button. And you can see the score on the top left hand corner increases. The timer is at the top right hand corner. You can also pause the game by pressing the P button. If you, if you have to win the game, you have to find all the targets and shoot them.
Okay, Tanush, any more thing you have made? Uh, I have also made an endless runner game. No, fine. Okay, 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 fine. So, thank you, Tanush. Uh, tell all of us. Uh, you have made how you have made this game by using which software you have made this game. So I have made this game using Unreal Engine Five. Android. Sir, Unreal Engine Five. <laughs> Okay, uh, could you please repeat your voices a bit uh, not clear? Could you please repeat? Sir, I have made this game using Unreal Engine 5. Okay. And sir, uh, are you acquainted uh, with uh, make, making such type of games? Is it, uh, did you find uh, it easy while making the, making the game? No, sir. Making games takes a lot of time and hard work. Okay. Who has guided you in uh, making this game? Sir, I have all learned through the internet. Okay, all right. Is it available free of cost? Is yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is available for free of cost at the Epic Games website. Okay, means any anyone can join and play your game? Sir, not play your game as I have not uploaded to any of the distribution platforms. No, no. I am asking if we'll... Uh, Make your uh, game available in internet in any mm -hmm. particular website or any in any server. Can others play your game? Sir, uh, we can export our game out to the Play Store and the Microsoft App Store and many other platforms. Okay, okay, thank you, Tanus. Now, Varda sir, please. Please share your valuable so, feedback. Tanus, actually, you have uh, shown us that. Um, Game, video game. Yes, sir. So actually, you have made it by using that Android Five Studio. Oh, am I correct? Not uh, no, sir. Not Android Studio. It is Unreal Engine Five. Okay. So by using that studio, you have created. So it is online game or offline game? Sir, uh, it is right now an offline game. Offline game. So, how much space it is taking? Sir, it is taking about 5 GB. 5 GB. So, what are the system requirements to play this game? Sir, the system requirements are uh, Intel Core i5 or, great, or newer, uh, 8 GB of uh, RAM, mm -hmm. a minimum graphics card of G NVIDIA GeForce GT710. But uh, I think it, it will be very costly, so all the people cannot uh, play this game. Yeah. Yes, sir. And yeah. second thing, second thing is that, so you have, uh, you are using the, you are uh, that, uh, using that Android software. So you have, uh, that, uh, which language you have used in that software for creating this game? Sir, not any language. I have used Blueprints, which is a visual scripting system in Unreal Engine 5 to make games. So, no language we used? No, sir. No language. So, that pointing, uh, how you have uh, that used, or how you have made this, that pointing you are telling, so, gone pointing like this. Sir, it is all. Sir, I have used Blueprints. The gun pointing, the, okay, the okay. camera moves with the gun actually. The okay. camera I've assigned to the uh, player which moves with the gun. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, so, one, uh, one thing I would like to tell all of you, dear participants, while presenting your topic, you are sincerely expected to switch on your video, okay? Please make sure that your video is on. Now we'll move on to the next topic. Uh, Pranjali Panda. Yes, sir. Please uh, carry on with your topic. Sir, my screen is visible. Yes, yes. Your screen is visible. Okay, please, please hold on. So, uh, dear students, please, uh, dear participants, please make sure that no noise uh, should come. Okay. 
in between the presentation please all of you make sure thank you now uh, pranjali please uh, carry on with your topic yes sir good afternoon one and all present over here i am pranjali panda going to give the presentation on computer mouse first these key points what is mouse invention of mouse type activities of mouse types of mice mouses recent development on mouse first is what is mouse a computer mouse is a handheld pointing device that defects to dangling self mounting relative to a surface why it is named as mouse with the cord coming out of the back of the mouse douglas say the device reminded him of the rodent mouse and the mouse and the main circ it's a lot easier to remember than x y position indicated for a display system Invention of mouse. In 1968, a man named Douglas Inglebart created this special tool to help people control their computers. It was a small wooden block on wheels, and there was a long cable sticking out of the back, kind of like a tail. Activities of mouse: move the mouse cursor, open or execute a program, select, drag and drop, hover, scroll. Perform other functions. Types of mice mouses. These are the pictures of um, um, different types of mouses. Wide mouse. Wide mouse. Anjali, please, please uh, hold on. Have you made any thing to share, like presentation or any uh, chat? Have you made any uh, you know project related documents to be displayed? For display? No, no, no. No, sir. Okay, okay. Means only you are uh, only you are presenting your topic. Please. Okay, 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 okay. No problem. Please carry on. Please carry on. Please continue. Anjali, please don't get confused. Uh, if you have yes, any, if you have made any drawings also in your topic, you can also present. You can also show to all of us if you have made made any drawings. No, sir. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. You please continue. Wide mouse, wireless mouse, Bluetooth mouse. <laughs> Trackball mouse, optical mouse, magic mouse, vertical mouse, and gaming mouse. First is wide mouse. A wide mouse directly to your desktop or laptop, usually through a USB port, and transmits information via the cord. Wireless mouse. Wireless mouse transmits radio signals to receiver connected to your computer. Why? Bluetooth mouse. Wireless mouse designs and Bluetooth mouse designs tend to look very similar as neither need a wire connection to operate. Trackball mouse. A trackball mouse looks a lot like an upside down mouse. This mouse features a ball with sensors that move the mouse cursor. Mouse cursor. a uh, mouse cursor on the screen when the ball is move with your thumb optical mouse the true optical mouse uses a red or infrared lead light projected onto a surface to track movement by bouncing the light off the surface into a cmos sensor laser mouse why the wide or wireless optical mouse and laser mouse are very much alike in design but have one key difference it that is is used laser magic mouse the magic mouse multi-touch surface allows you to perform simple gestures such as sweeping between web pages and scrolling through documents vertical mouse a vertical mouse is an ergonomic design that places the wrist in a hand Set position rather than flat against a desk. 
गेमिंग माउस गेमिंग माउस आर बोथ अवेलेबल इन बोथ वायर्ड और वायरलेस डिजाइन एंड मे इंक्लूड एडिशनल फीचर्स बियॉन्ड सडन मोडस टू इंप्रूव योर गेमिंग एक्सपीरियंस रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट ऑन माउस मोट मोट Motion based mice yet another innovation in new mouse technology is motion based controlled with this feature you control the mouse pointer by waving the mouse in the air i conclude my topic saying that every technology have advantages and when we use this advantages we should take care of it thank you for patiently listening and have an idea ahead thank you prantali do your presentation was good but uh, one suggestion you could have added uh, uh, more things to your presentation like you could have made uh, ppt do ppt if at all it was not possible but at least whatever things you are presenting that thing you could have made some kind of paintings or pictures you could have put on a chat paper uh, that will give a clear cut idea about your presentation okay this, this is from my side thank you now varda sir please share your feedback yes sir um, actually have you opened uh, uh, that mouse in the inside the mouse what are the electronics components are there have you opened Have you seen? No, sir. No. Okay, sir. Hey, th thank you, sir. Thank you, Pranjali. Thank you, sir. Okay, now we'll move on to the to our next topic: development of computer and its impact on society. Uh, by Dibyansi Mahapatra. Dibyansi Mahapatra, if you are present, please uh, start your presentation and uh, switch on your video. Dibyansi. Yes, sir. सर इज माई स्क्रीन इज विजिबल यस यस योर स्क्रीन इज एब्सोल्युटली विजिबल प्लीज कैरी ऑन ओके Good afternoon, respected teachers and participants. I am Devanshi Mahapatra, Class Three, Section D. As the theme of the exhibition is impact of technology on society and environment, I have chosen the topic on development of computers and its impact on society and environment. introduction as the theme of the exhibition is all about technology and its impact i have chosen the topic on development of computers generation wise and how it is impacting in positive and negative way to our society and environment in this topic i will cover different generation of computers starting from first generation to fifth generation post generation study we will go through how it is impacting our learning social behavior personal life professional life academic life and the contribution of computers towards our environment in reducing use of paper multiple application to monitor environment pollution post detail study of development benefits we will go through the negative impact of tech computers on our society like impact on physical health vision problem exposure to radiation addiction cyber crime social distancing and an environment affect we will study e waste and a negative effect on soil water and humans objective the objective of the presentation is to create awareness among students and society regarding technology development these are the different generation of computers first generation of computer was invented in 1940 and continued till 1956 the computer used vacuum tubes for circuit and magnetic drums for memory they were very big to keep and take up an entire room to keep these were relied on machine languages 
they were very expensive to operate and utilize dye electricity. Second generation of computer was invented in 1956 and continued till 1963. Transistor replaced vacuum tubes in the second generation of computer. DBMC, DBMC. Yes, please, yes, sir. Uh, please hold on. Okay, thank you. You are presenting very nicely. No need to read out the uh, entire content of a slide. Okay, it's all right. Please move on to your next slide. Okay. Uh, Okay, sir. Next slide. Next slide. Please move on. No need to read an entire content. Okay. Just you can okay. tell one or two points. That's all in one slide. So, okay. So, no need to read it entirely. Okay, sir. This is the pictorial view of different generation of computer. This is the first generation of computer. This is the second generation of computer. This is the third generation of computer. This is the fourth generation of computers. And it is the fifth generation of computer. Impact on society and environment. Positive impact on society. Learning, social behavior, personal life, professional life, academic life, financial, educational and social growth. Negative effect on society, cyber crime, social distancing, human health, reduction in employment opportunity, change of human behavior, positive impact on environment, saving cutting of tree due to less utilization of paper, remote working solution, saving energy and pollution free environment. Utilization of wider application enabling automated system of minimizing different environmental issues. Negative effect impact on environment. Computer product contains heavy metals such as mercury, PCB, toxic chemicals which pollute soil and contaminate the groundwater. High energy consumption. E-waste lead to carbon dioxide emission. These are the pictorial view of impact on society and environment. We use computer in banking field, medical field, education, organization and home budget. Due to watching a lot of computer, we face eye problem, headache, stress and depression. What is e-waste? E-waste stands for electronic waste. E-waste means discarded electronic items such as TV, computer, mobile phone, etc. What is green computing? Green computing means to recycle the electronic waste in a proper way. Thank you. Thank you, Dibyansi. Truly have made such a very beautiful presentation. So, thank you, sir. Thank you. So have you made this presentation by your own or anyone who has helped you in making this presentation? My father has helped me to make this presentation. Okay, okay. Okay, after uh, this uh, exhibition will get over, please uh, convey special thanks to your father, okay? Thank okay, you. Sir. you have presented very nicely. Varda sir, please share your feedback. Uh, thank you, Tibansi, for your uh, nice presentation and your voice also very nice. And uh, thank you. No, no remarks. It is very good. So you should make up your own. Yes, sir. Okay. okay thank you, sir. Thank you, Tibansi, once again. Now we'll move on to the next topic, technology and its impact on society. It will be presented by uh, Prites Das. So it is up to you, Prites. Please carry on with your presentation. Uh, Prites, are you present? 
I doubt whether this is present or absent. Okay, anyway, we'll see. Now we'll move on to the next topic, website registration by Dibyam Mahanti. Dibyam, are you there? Dibyam? Yes, sir. So uh, please uh, carry on with your uh, presentation. Okay, sir. Hello everyone, respected judges, teachers, and my dear participants. I am Divya Monty from 4D Role 11. Today I'm going to present you my project website for managing online carom game. During this pandemic, we all can't play with our cousins and friends. So we play online games. I thought of creating a website for managing on these carom games. The objective of this website is it allows participants to register for online games. It provides information to participants regarding the game schedule. Admin will receive all the registrations in his her inbox. Admin will send all the confirmations to all participants. The winner will be declared on the website. The link of my website is below. Steps to create the website. First, go to Wix.com. Second, sign in to Wix.com. Third, click create a new site. Fourth, fill in the details the system asks, such as type and name of website. Fifth, add any managing facilities of your choice. Sixth, select Wix ADI to create your website. Seventh, select logo, name, email and phone number. Eighth, choose the theme and designs you like. Ninth, edit using the website editor. Tenth, save and publish your website and it is ready. Let me show you a demo how to make a website. Go to wix.com and log in to wix.com. Then click create a new site. What kind of website are you creating? I'm creating this website to play online games. What would you like to call your website? You can change it anytime. What do you want to add in to your website? I am using chat so that if anyone will chat with the bot, then it will the bot will send the registration form. Dibyam, please uh, please hold on. I I, I believe uh, you are trying to uh, demonstrate something, but it is not uh, visible. I think you have not shared your uh, screen properly. Something you are trying to uh, tell that uh, I am adding this that. So it is not visible. So let me share again. Okay, all right. Sir, is it now visible? Ah, yes. Now it is visible properly. Thank you. Now carry on. Yes, sir. Go to Wix.com and log into Wix.com. Then click create a new site. What kind of website are you creating? I have selected play so that um, I am um, I have selected play so we play in this website. What would you like to call your website? You can change it anytime. What do you want to add your website? I have selected chat so that if anyone chat with chats with the bot, the bot will send the registration form. Let Wix ADI create a website for you. You 
you have to write the name email for the website you can give your address and phone number if you want to you can add the logo of the website by clicking the plus symbol and uploading the picture pick a theme you like It may take some time for network issues. You can pick your home page design. Okay, thank okay. you, thank you, Dibyam. I think your uh, website registration is only exclusively for uh, games and all, or what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it uh, completely free? Uh, the registration process is free, or is yes, it... sir, it's free. Okay. Is it uh, safe to register under this website? Have you inquired? Yes, sir. Uh, like, likewise, like that you are telling yes, or have you truly inquired that it is absolutely safe to register under this website? Yes, sir. I have tried. Okay. Any any other thing you have made? Uh, no, sir. I have just created a website. Okay. Okay. Th thank you. Thank you, Dibyam. So, Barda sir, please uh, share your yes, sir. feedback and so, any question you would like to ask, please. Dibyam. Yes, so, sir. What is the website you tell me? What do you mean by website? Sir, there is registration form for the online game. So registration form is called website. Sir, I have created a website. Created a no, website. Sir, what is what do you mean by website? Website means what you are understanding. Sir, website means it is uh sir, website means it is a uh, Okay, so so that game you are using or creating that website for game. So that game can be used by everybody. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, this website could be also used for other online games as well. Other online games. So how other people uh, use your website? Sir, by going to my website and registering the form I have given. Okay, that means you will send links. So you will uh, share your website. You will send yes, links. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Vibram. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dibyam. Now we'll move on to the next topic, uh, e-waste management. And it will be presented by Syed Jamam Ahmad. So, yes, sir. So please uh, carry on with your uh, presentation. Yes, sir. Go Good afternoon, everyone. This is me, Sezama Mamad. Today, I prepared a presentation on computerization and e-waste management. The contents of this presentation are what is computerization and how it develops e-waste, its disadvantages and how to manage it. What is computerization and its importance? Computers play a major role in all walks of life. We use computers to access information, communicate and collaborate and learn. It helped us to step forward into the future. They also help us in space exploration, making new designs of transportation, entertainment and medical science. Should it be our concern? But with the era of computerization also comes in the concept of e-waste, which is growing a big concern. Definition.
of e-waste management waste or e-waste can may be defined as discarded computers electronic equipment this includes the includes used electronics which are destined for reuse resale salvage recycling or disposal what causes e-waste how is e-waste produced E-waste is generated when electronic equipment become unfit for their originally intended use or have crossed the expiry date. These are examples of e-waste when unfit for use. These electronic equipments get fast replaced with new models. This has led to an exponential increase in e-waste generation. Do you know? 20 million tons of e-waste is produced in a year which is 800 laptops per second is e-waste harmful for us e-wastes are very dangerous and polluted as they contain many harmful substances such as plastics lead cadmium and mercury these substances are not just not biodegradable but they also result in several life-threatening diseases including cancer there are other harmful effects on the environment like soil pollution, air pollution, and water pollution. Is e-waste harmful for us? Improper disposal of e-waste affects the environment. Heavy metals such as lead, barium, lithium, krypton, etc. lead to the death of the plants and animals. Pollutants from e-waste can accumulate in our bodies and can lead to DNA damage and cancer. Children are particularly vulnerable and pregnant women exposed to e-waste can pass on increased health hazards to their children in the womb. What can you do to manage e-waste? Avoid purchasing new electronic products that cannot be reused and recycled. Reduce our consumption of electronic devices and try to repair broken equipment before purchasing new ones. Reuse our electronic devices by donating items. Reuse our electronic devices by environmentally friendly and more energy efficient electronics. We evaluate. Do you really need that extra gadget? It is really important for us to think of the hours. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and rethink. Thank you for listening to my presentation and have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you, Saeed, for your presentation. So, it was found that only you are, uh, though you have made a good presentation, but you are only reading. Okay. So I have suggested to all of you, my dear participants, not to you only, particularly, sir, to all of you, whoever is presenting uh, a topic, whoever has made a presentation, and uh, it is never advisable, my dear participants, to read it uh, line by line. Okay. Try to be creative. Uh, creative uh, does not mean that you have to. Come, uh, come out with a completely new topic or project, you may present some of the existing uh, topic in a creative manner. Okay, so while uh, presenting your uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, try to add value to it by, uh, you know, presenting it by your own, add your own words. You can cite some examples relevant to your topic. Okay, so please avoid, I'm not telling that you should not read, read. But uh, you sh should try to avoid reading it completely. Whatever you have written, just you need you are reading it out. Okay, so try to avoid. So what? Uh, so I have one question to you. What are the uh, harmful effects of e-waste? If we will not dispose uh, electronic waste properly, what are the harmful effects that we are going to face? Man, the, sir, the harmful effects that we are going to. Uh, uh face are uh, that the earth won't be able to handle this much e-waste and it will also lead to pollution of all the uh, things in the environment okay are you uh, okay are you are you having any e-waste in at your home please don't mind this yes ma'am <laughs> i've having... also uh, made a uh, 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 windmill out of uh, 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 an old rc car generator motor no, I am, I am asking, are you having any electronic waste at your home? Yes, sir. But um, we are mostly throwing it out or um, disposing it. Don't you think to dispose it as soon as possible? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. This is from my side. Now I request uh, Sir Barda Sir to please share his valuable feedback. Thank you, sir. Mm. One thing I am telling you, sir. Uh, so, what was your project, man? 
my project name is um, computerization and e waste management okay, okay. so actually um, us management you have uh, written that three things reuse and uh, recycle reuse recycle uh, sir your voice is not audible actually okay you told that we use recycle so yeah. what is that what is reuse and what is recycle sir um, uh, the meaning of um, uh, reuse is to um, uh, my use something um, uh, again that we don't use anymore so before recycle we use the again these things or after recycle we use. Suppose you have purchased a product, it is damaged. That means it will go to recycle. After yes. recycling, then another product will be manufactured. Then we use it. Yes, sir. But you have written that we use then recycle in your PPT. Okay. Is it clear? Sir, old gadgets can be reused um, again. Old gadgets. Old gadgets. So after repairing, it can be reused. Yes, if sir. It is, if it is fully damaged, it will go to recycle. Yes, sir. Otherwise, um, uh, the, some factories will um, actually burn them and release the um, harmful chemicals into the air. Okay. To get gold and stuff. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your uh, presentation. Now we'll move on to the next topic that is uh, Teco Frenzy, and it will be presented by Isan Panda. Isan, if you are present, uh, please uh, carry on with your. Yes, sir. Hello everybody, I am Ishan Panda and I am going to present you the topic of the topic how and how technology how technology helps student organization and environment. The main contents of this presentation are students organization system, how what is open office text, what is open office calc, what is open office impress. And lastly, how does open office software package help environment? What is student organization system? A student society, student association, university society, or student organization is a society or an organization operated by students at a university yes. or a college institution whose membership typically consists of students or alumni. What is open office text? Open Office Text is a word processor of Open Office Software Package. It is a word processor which is similar to MS Word and Corel's Word Perfect. It runs on Mac, so Mac OS X, Microsoft Windows, Linux, FreeBSD, so and Solaris. How can Open Office Text help student organization? Open Office Text can help students as they can save save worksheets, make notes, and save important video links, images, and articles. They can save exam questions for extra practice and save practice questions from browsers. They can write their answer sheets in Word processor and send them through text, messages, and emails. Now I am going to show you an example of it. So this is the example. I have made it. This is the worksheet sent by our teachers. Hey. Let's assume. We can put, uh, put the eight boxes. We can put eight boxes. And we can also change the form to uh, the first stylish form. This is how the people, how children will answer. These are these are the underscore. Go to the middle of the underscore and uh, and write your answer. Now select the uh, select the answer and click on underline or just uh, just do Control U. 
and it will be underlined and this is your answer answer ready what is open office calc open office calc is similar to microsoft excel with almost the same abilities calc is or uh, uh, is capable of opening and saving spreadsheets in microsoft excel format it provides a number of features not present in excel including a system which automatically defines a series for graphing based on the layout of users data calc is also capable of writing spreadsheets directly as pdf files how can open office calc help student organization open office calc can help student organization as the students can make tables and presentations using it they can also save them and send them to text messages and emails they can do calculations and save data of their performances and task the an example of it is given student can make calendars and save important days by changing their background color they can also save their performance they can also save their performances and their tasks as i have highlighted every single one from 4e a class 4e in the exhibition computer what is open office impress open office impress is a presentation open office impress is a presentation part of open office software package it is similar to ms powerpoint and is created by sun microsystems it is able to create pdf files from presentations it is able to view edit and save in any file format including ppt format how can open office impress help in student organization open office impress can be used to make beautiful presentations and making books it helps children to take part in competition and make their work less as they don't have to write all the notes and reports by hand here is an example of the same presentation but in open office impress all the text and uh, all the text and everything all the text and everything is same just the font just the font and the background uh, background background design are different environment how does open office software package help the environment open office software package helps the environment as there is a decrease in deforestation as making paper requires as making paper requires the boiling of pulp of the tree and pulp of the tree can only be obtained by cutting the tree it also decreases in pollution as making paper requires boiling of the pulp of the tree and boiling means the use of coal and use of coal means increase in pollution not by i am using open office software package as it has a better experience for the user compared to ms office ms office can also be used for student organization it does the same result to the environment as done by open office software package thank you for your patience hearing okay thank you isan bardha sir please share your feedback isan yes sir uh, so actually you told that uh, in the excel in sir in the calci what we are storing the text or what we are analyzing the text can be emailed also but which features yes sir which features of the calci software help us to send email sir i can't hear you so which features of calci help you to send emails do you hear me no sir you are absolutely audible sir you are very clearly audible okay isan can you can you hear me yes sir yes sir yes yes sir now okay. i can hear okay now isan please answer to the question what sir has asked yes sir we can send through email by the following way go to the browser 
and open uh, open your uh, gmail okay. yes sir we can click compose okay so you will attach your file yes sir we can do uh, we can do it by first putting uh, first for opening the folder where we have saved First, opening the folder where you have saved it, and drag and dragging the present, dragging the presentation or the Excel sheet. Okay. Dragging the Excel sheet to the compose uh, compose file and sending it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vishal. Sir, you can ask questions now. Okay, thank thank you, sir. Is is an what uh, what was your uh, to topic name? What was the name of your topic? Sir, it was impact of technology on student organization, student organization and environment. Impact of technology. Technology on student organization and environment. On student organization and environment. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, as for your topic, uh, I didn't find any relevance. Okay. In your presentation, in your presentation, you have highlighted about the features of uh, Open Office, right? Or any other thing that you have uh, added. Yes, sir. I have also written how can open office text help student organization. No, yes, sir. How I'm can they do? No, I am asking apart from open office uh, package, have you included uh, any other uh, thing you have mentioned about impact of technology? Impact of technology. What other thing? Oh, sir, there is an, uh, not any other thing. Okay. Okay, thank you, Isan. Now we'll move on to the next topic, logo. And it will be presented by Amog Aditya Sarpati. Amog, are you present? Amog Aditya? Yes, sir. Uh, please uh, carry on with your uh, topic. OK, sir. Good afternoon. Everybody present over here, honorable chief guest, respected principal madam, teachers and my dear friends. I am Amugadita Satpati of Standard 4E going to exhibit some interesting elements of logo, of the logo program. Do you know what is logo? Logo is an educational programming language designed in 1967 by Valley Fusit, Cynthia Simeon Papat, Cynthia Solomon at Bold Bender Newman, a Cambridge and Massachusetts research firm. Logo isn't a logo, logo isn't an acronym. It is a it is derived from a Greek word, word logos, mean meaning a word or thoughts uses in logo uses of logo logo is very very uh, very interesting part it enhances the logical sense of the children it develops 
programming skills it is real and real computer science logo is very in easy and interesting some commands in used in logo fd bk rt lt cs ct ht ht pu pd and repeat set zip count label print set x and set y forward means fd means forward this command tells the turtle to move forward by the specific number of steps bk the command tells the turtle move backwards by the specific numbers of steps rt the command turns turtle to the right direction by a specific angle this lt command turn the turtle to the left direction by specific angle cs the cs is used to erase everything on the canvas ct is is used to erase everything in the commander box ht hides the turtle ct makes the turtle reappear again repeat it is used to repeat a number of commands of and time many times set this command turns uh, turtle to right direction by specific angle so here i have some uh, commands i have used to make some designs which can be used in making uh, cotton designs bed sheet designs and all first program is it will output this uh, okay, thank you amok Amo, thank you yes Apart sir from this uh, presentation uh, can you just uh, demonstrate the logo screen yes i can for a while the uh, logo screen have yes you, sir have you installed logo in your computer yes sir okay this is the logo screen this no, this no, part no, no, of the... please please uh, hold on okay sir can you can you show where your turtle is right now yes sir okay so this is your turtle yes sir where do we need to type the commands in this command uh, command section okay okay after typing commands uh, will the turtle uh, react accordingly yes sir okay you okay thank you isan so barga sir please share your valuable feedback and uh, any question you would like to ask please yes sir so amok <clears throat> yes sir this is a full form of logo logo is not an acronym sir logo full form it has no full form language sir. language of graphics oriented okay yes sir yes sir logo full form is language of graphics oriented okay. yes sir so this programming is used for which purpose why it is used to make designs and it is used to teach Yes, children to mathematical mathematics okay so re repeat command is used for uh, which purpose repeat command is used to repeat a repeat a command n number of time 
n number of times and rt command rt command is used to to turn the turtle right direction to the right direction so set x command set x command is used to draw horizontal lines okay thank you thank you thank you Have you drawn? Uh, have you drawn any design uh, on this uh, uh, that logo? Yes, sir. You have drawn some designs. I have drawn eight. Uh, I have done many, many, but uh, I have chosen eight of the beautiful, most beautiful that I have done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amma. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, sir, for sharing your valuable feedback, and thank you, Amol. Now we'll move on to the next topic: Bluetooth-operated home appliances, and it will be presented by Jignesh Kumar. Jignesh, yes, if, if you are uh, present, please uh, start your presentation, and uh, Jignesh, please stick to the time. Okay. Yes, sir. Bluetooth-operated home appliances. Good afternoon, respected judges. knowledgeable teachers dear friends today i jignesh kumar of class 5a going to present my views on the topic bluetooth operated home appliances introduction what is it, it uh, bluetooth operated home appliances is a model for controlling the appliances of home like light bulb fan uh, motor, water motor etc by bluetooth control application only fan we can turn a fan on and off by hashtag small f and hashtag capital f light by hashtag capital l and hashtag small l it's low cost very simple materials required to build Seven thousand eight hundred five voltage regulator, uh, circuit board, Arduino microcontroller, crystal sixteen MZ capacitors, transistors, diode, resistors, reset switch, and SC zero five Bluetooth module. This is the Arduino app in which coding is to run. This is how it would look. bluetooth communication app this is how it the project look like these are the uh, materials which i sh uh, showed you uses the poor, uh, this system is perfect for poor people as it's low cost alternate it's also useful for disabled people Uh, because uh, disabled people like handicapped uh, visually impaired uh, etc can use this for turning off and on light uh, and home appliances uh, it can be used in rural areas home and making and uh, this can make them a part of the present era summary sometimes we forget to turn off the light uh, and the fans which cause monthly and daily bills to rise up problems cause such as uh, problems cause such as bills to rise up and for this problem many solutions are made such as phone control light bluetooth control lights fans etc which can be uh, switched off and on easily but most of the house cannot have this smart bulb and thus cannot resolve it for this problem i designed this system which can turn on and off light easily with our bluetooth app only no need to buy any arduino we can use it by a website we can turn it to a website sir let's see it practically sir is my video visible have you have you shared please share your screen sir. Oh. Sir, my PPT is ah. ended. Sir. Okay, okay, okay. It is visible. It is visible. Okay. Sir, first we will open the Bluetooth communication app. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, here is the typing option. Sir, as I told you, uh, here is the fan. First, I will type hashtag 
capital L uh, or F. A I have typed F to turn on the fan. And then we have to pair the device by connecting the adapters, battery adapters to the nine volt batteries, one for fan and one for light. Here. The light will blink here and then we will send. So as you can see, the fan is now turned on and we can turn on the light by hashtag big uh, capital L. Yes, sir. Now the uh, light is also turned on. Uh, sir, we can turn off the fan by hashtag small f. The fan is off now and the light by hashtag small l. Thank you for your presence, Sharon. Okay, thank you, Jignes. Barda sir, please uh, share your uh, valuable feedback. Jignes? Yes, sir. So, how much uh, cost will be, uh, this project will be used by common man? So that common man has to bear how much money for this project? Yes, sir, sir. It can come between 1,000 rupees. 1,000 rupees. Yes, sir. So, only for this uh, Bluetooth operated home appliances. Yes, sir. So, how you have done this? Who has given this idea to you? Sir, it my it's my neighbor brother, Raj Aryan Astana. He is reading in uh, DAV Poker Put. So you have given idea. Yes, sir. Which class you are reading? Sir, I'm reading in five class. So Bluetooth you just which signal? Sir radio. Which sir radio waves. Bluetooth you just radio waves? Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. No. Bluetooth can, uh, it can travel up to how much distance? Sir, 10 meter. For, uh, yes. uh, sir, 10 to 100 meter. So radio wave can travel only 10 to 100 meters? Yes, sir. Radio wave cannot travel more distance. Okay, so leave it. Yeah, uh, yes, sir, it can travel to more distance according to its range. Okay. Okay, so uh, thank you, uh, Jignes. Uh, sir, you can ask. Okay, th thank you, sir. So Jignes, uh, what are the different uh, devices that uh, we can use in this uh, project or we can include in this project? Yes, sir. Whatever sir, seven thousand. Sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, different devices like uh, like uh, Bluetooth module, reset buttons, uh, sir, fan, lights, uh, and uh, 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 motherboards. Okay, man, sir, can can you incorporate uh, this in any app, uh, home appliances or uh, specialized home appliances we need to purchase in order to use this? Yes, sir. Specialized home appliances. Then it may it may cost a huge amount. Not like all the appliances. Appliances are usually coming at a considerable cost, but Bluetooth enabled appliances may cost a bit more amount. Sir, normal appliances. Uh, in normal appliances are not coming with uh, this Bluetooth technology. Uh, I am asking. Uh, do you have any, any 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 such device that can be attached with a normal home appliance in order to make it a Bluetooth enabled or we have to purchase specialized Bluetooth enabled appliances 
like suppose a fan having uh, you know blue then normal all right okay thank you jignes now we'll move on to the next topic artificial intelligence and it will be presented by dibyan smallik dibyan yes, sir present please uh, carry on yes sir start your presentation hmm. good good afternoon respected judges teachers and my dear friends today i am the bench malik from class 5a is going to present on the topic artificial intelligence <clears throat> meaning of artificial intelligence artificial intelligence or ai provides a computer program the ability to think and learn on its own it is a simulation of human intelligence into machines to do things that we normally rely on humans uses of artificial intelligence the following are the most important uses of artificial intelligence in the modern day world these are online shopping marketing banking and investment transportation home security social media surveillance agriculture and many more now i want to show you the demo of artificial intelligence by google maps here i open google maps it will take some so it will take some time to load Yes, sir. Google Maps has been designed to give us the information based on the use of artificial intelligence to make us more comfortable in the matter of transportation from one place to another. By using the Google Maps, we can know where we are and the exact location, and we can also go whenever wherever we want. Suppose we want to go to Bhadrak. It will show, and if we click on directions. it will show the best route from here to bhadrak and it will show from a distance how much time it will take from car it will take 3 hour and 2 minute from car to by uh, to reach bhadrak here is the road here it is written that it, this route has told it has given us a warning that this route has told here are the places which we can encounter in our journey this this google this type of maps like google maps is processed with the help of artificial intelligence let's move on to our the next slide now we will know about the advantages of artificial intelligence the so following are the main advantages depends please hold on uh, scroll to the slide but whichever slide you are presenting so please scroll it is only um, focused at the title page of your slide okay just scroll down with the help of arrow keys oh, sir i have scrolled it down uh, sir uh, sir i am again directly click on the slide suppose you are presenting i am just giving you an example if yes, you are sir. presenting slide number 3 just click on that or slide number 4 whatever you are presenting just yes now it is visible yes sir okay continue Don't read out the entire content. Please be. Yes, I am yes, not reading the entire content. I'm, I was also showing you a demo. I can repeat that if you want. All uh, right. Okay. Okay. You continue. Okay, sir. 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 Will I repeat the demo? Uh, yes. If, if, if yes, you are planning for a demo, go for it. But. I don't take much time for the demo. Okay. I will not. I will not take much time. Okay. Uh, so now, if I will. I want to show you the demo of uh, Google. Our uh, demo of artificial intelligence by using Google Maps. So now I am opening the Google Maps. Uh, sir, it is visible. Have you opened? Perhaps yes, sir. I have opened Google Maps. I think it is not visible. You need to share your screen properly. I think. Uh, I think okay, you have shared sir, only your presentation. Uh, sir, I am sharing my screen. Uh, sir, I'm... again, 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 you share your screen. I think. Sir, I'm not sure. Only you have mm -hmm. shared the presentation. Your presentation was visible. Yes, sir. Uh, now, sir, it is visible. Now, yes, now it is visible. The slide is visible. Okay. Okay, sir. You, you are about to demonstrate about Google Map. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, is it visible? I've uh, opened the Google Maps. It's taking some time, I think. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, is it visible? Varda, sir, is it visible? Google Maps. Yes, uh, Google Maps. Uh, 
the hyperlink is visible but the google map not visible ha ah, yes perhaps it is taking time yes sir okay you just tell about your google map what uh, have you planned to uh, present you just you see uh, i was i was planning to uh, show you the advantage how the uh, google maps uses artificial intelligence to show us the way and our route wherever we want to go you can just search our uh, destination where you want to go and it will show us the best route etc etc but uh, it is not coming so i it will be difficult for me to show you okay all right and any other thing in your presentation yes, i'm uh, i'm reading out the advantage i was reading out the advantages and disadvantages all right sir i will finish it by the conclusion in conclusion it can be said that every new invention will have both merits and demerits and we as human beings need to take care of that and use the positive aspects of the invention to create a better world hence artificial intelligence has massive potential for the betterment of human civilization so so with this words i sign out and thank you for your patient hearing okay thank you divyans yes, you, you, you have planned to give a demo on google map but uh, your link might not have worked properly anyways you have tried your best to present yes, so varda sir please share your uh, valuable feedback okay uh, sir thank you sir <coughs> artificial intelligence uh, divyans yes sir uh, you have told many things uh, but i am asking very easy questions to you that uh, what is the difference between our general computer and artificial intelligence uh, sir in our general computer uh, uh, and artificial intelligence because our general computer is capable of doing all the work so who what lacuna is there so that artificial intelligence came to the world so what is the difference artificial intelligence and our general computer uh sir our general computer we give a, give the input and it processes and give it give us the output and it doesn't do means it doesn't do that uh, much better performance that artificial intelligence could do no 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 but it also performs better uh, uh work can be done also in general computer general computer all the works are done in the general computer you go to a medical go to banking go to education in all the places general computer is it capable of doing all this work so but what is, what is the uh, one only one lacuna is there this is why artificial intelligence came to the world so what is the difference so only i am asking this question this question is very easy question very easy question you have uh, told a lot of things about artificial intelligence so yes, artificial intelligence uh, so many things you have told um, uh, they described but only i am asking so what is the small difference between general computer and artificial intelligence machine or artificial intelligence uh, sir it is uh, it has it can think like humans and uh, or even more you can think more than humans but computer uh, it processes the input and artificial intelligence uh, it is it can think more than humans the clear cut you say that artificial intelligence where intelligence is there but in our general computer that is zero intelligence the machine is doing all this work but still uh, it is it has no intelligence only yes, one sentence it can be okay thank you so next question that um, artificial intelligence is a machine or it is a software sir it is a software it is not a machine no sir it is a software that is in the machine so that is uh, that uh, that machine we can say it is a general computer or other computer uh, sir it is an advanced computer we can say which thing, which is more better than which is more better than the general computer so artificial intelligence is implemented in the software and that software is installed in our general computer okay yes sir okay yes sir clear yes sir okay thank you thank, thank you, you sir. depends depends yes, sir, sir you can ask
ओके थैंक यू सर दिव्यांश कैन यू टेल ऑल ऑफ अस एग्जाम रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वेयर वी आर डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली यूजिंग आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इन आवर डे टू डे लाइफ इंटेलिजेंस Google Maps, WhatsApp, WhatsApp web, many other things are using artificial intelligence. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, Dipans. Thank you, sir. Now we'll move on to the next topic: mathematical calculation worksheet for kids, and it will be presented by Sushri Surabhi. Sushri, yes, sir. Okay, please carry on with your presentation. Yes, sir. so can you see my screen yes your screen is visible please carry on yes sir good afternoon everybody i am sushil sravi standing before you to represent my computer project computers are a basic need nowadays in this fast changing world technology plays a basic role in which computers are a major part the countries which are the tech efficient countries these are the most developed countries So today, my project is about the automatic creation of mathematical calculation worksheet for kids. So let's start. The main objective of my project is to create question papers of mathematical calculation worksheets of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in a short time for kids. Mostly, it is very beneficial for teachers and parents to prepare. different questions for different kids in a single click in a single attempt and in a very short time as a parent with kids home from school you want them to keep up their math skills so they are not behind when they go back to school so sri uh, please hold on okay you are uh, presenting it nicely have you made any such excel sheet yes sir Please directly you move on to your Excel sheet. We would like to see the Excel sheet that you have made. Okay, okay sir. So can you see see it? Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely, it is visible. I have used the formula rank between ten to ninety nine, in which computer picks randomly any number between ten to ninety nine, and in this cell I have used. Rank between one to nine, and the computer has picked any number randomly. Here I have used the plus sign for the addition worksheet. Here I can here I have given the minus sign. Like that, I can give the into sign, and this is the division worksheet. The, for the addition. subtraction and multiplication worksheet we need to give the symbols but the division worksheet does not need symbols because uh, we can format it in that way so the benefits of my project are it will save time for teachers and parents for creating practice questions for kids because as usual we prepare manually written questions and which takes a lot of time this will also help to improve the mathematical skills of children now let me show you some useful function sum as all the numbers in a given range of cells if checks whether a condition is met and returns a value if true and returns another value if false so as you can see here are the students name and these are the marks they have obtained in each subject and these are all the calculated fields so here to find out the total mark they have obtained i have used the sum formula which calculates uh, and adds all the uh, all the numbers in the given range next to find out the percentage as everybody knows we have to divide the marks obtained with the total marks and multiply it by 100 as 600 divided by 100 is 6 
So I have divided the total mark obtained with six and find out the answer. Okay, Sushri, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, one question I would like to ask: In that formula bar, you can see a equal sign. Okay. Can yes, sir. Uh, what will happen if we we'll remove the equal sign over there? Will the formula still work? If we we'll no, sir. Excel takes it as a formula only if we give the equal to sign. If we do not give it, it will not take it as a formula. Okay. Thank you very much, Sushri. Have you made this Excel sheet by your own completely? Yes, sir. Or anybody has help? Your teacher or your parents or your elders? Sir, I have made it. Okay, all right. Can Can you name some of the formulas? Like sum. Sum is one of the formula. Can you name? So sum if sum sir sum if uh, then if sir sum if and or count if index match count if count blank. Okay, thank you, thank you. These are uh, all uh, built-in functions. Uh, we can use as them like uh, formulas, or we can also uh, frame our own formula. Okay, by writing expression in the formula bar. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, this much. Uh, you are in your presentation. This Excel sheet. Sir, I have also added some other formulas. All right, it is all right. Okay, all right. Means basically, your project is all about uh, Excel sheet and uh, in formulas. Okay, you are you are demonstrating about various formulas, right? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Apart from PPT, at least you have made a, a project in your PPT. Okay, so thank you. Varda sir, please share your valuable feedback and any questions okay, you would so, like to ask, please. Sushri. Yes, sir. What is the difference between some if and some ifs? Some if and some ifs. IFS. Some IFS. Some ifs. Some if and some ifs. Do you know? Sir, uh, I don't know these formulas. Okay. But some function you know. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Susri. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you, Susri. Now we'll move on to the next topic, male morphs, and it will be presented by Manaswini Pati. Manaswini, are you there? Yes, yes, sir, I'm there. Okay, thank you, Manaswini. Please uh, start your presentation. Yes, sir. Good evening, one and all present over here. I'm Manashwini Pati, a student of class 5F, going to throw light on my topic, mail merge. So you must be thinking, what is mail merge? What, are, what is the concept of mail merge? So let me tell you that mail merge is a handy feature that incorporates data from both Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and allows you to create multiple documents at once that can be sent to a list of different people at the same time. A mail merge is used to create form of letters, mailing labels, envelopes, and mass email messages. Components of mail merge. So there are three components of mail merge, the main document, the data source, and the merge document. The main document contains the main body of the letter or the invitation that remains same for different people. The data source contains the collection of names, address of different people who will receive the document. The merge document contains when the main document uh, is merged with the data source, creates a merge document. So this is the data source. This is a document and we, when we combine these two, it creates a merge document, which is ready to, for which is ready for delivery. So now I will show you practically. Here I have a sample of a report card, which in which I have to uh, insert names, section, class and roll number. So first in the mail, so first in the mail links, you have to go on start mail merge and then step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So now you have to click on, and then a dialog box. Manaswini, I, I believe you are trying to demonstrate a mail merge, but it is not visible. Please share it properly. Only your presentation is visible. 
Okay, sir, I'm sharing it again. Yes, yes, please share it again. So now is it visible? No, you have not shared. Please share your screen again. Yes, sir, wait a minute. So now is it visible? Ah, yes, thank you. Now it is visible. Please yes, carry on. sir. Please carry on. So I will. I am starting from the first. So yes. under mailings, we have to click on Start Mail Merge, and then Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard. A dialog box will appear to the right of your monitor and will ask you a question: That what type of document are you working on? Leave it on Letters, and then select Starting Document. Then select How do you want to set up your doc letter? Use the current document and then select recipients. To pull down the data from your Excel spreadsheet to your document, you have to click on browse and find your document. And click on OK. So here is the uh, document. Uh, I have uh, here the names of the students, here their class, their section and their roll number. Then you have to click on OK and select Write Your Letter. Then you have to click on Insert Merge Field, Student, Section, Class, and it last roll number. Then you have to select preview a letter. And here names of the students with their section, class and roll number will come. Then you have to click on finish and merge, print documents. And you have to click on all to print all the documents. If you want to print only this document, you have to click on current record. And if you want to, if you don't want to print all the documents or you want to, uh, select um, print one to four or one to three. You will write here one to your to the number you want to print it. Then select OK. Again select OK. And give it a name. I will give it a name that R for record and C for card, and save it. Now I will show you the doc. Manashini, I think your screen sharing has been stopped. No, sir. Uh, now it is visible. Now it is visible. Yes, sir. Then you have to open the document. And here's the first, uh, child, uh, first child's report card. And here's the second. Here's the third. Here's the fourth. And here's the five. Thank you for your patience sharing. Have a great day ahead. Okay, thank you, Manasini. Please open that uh, report card rc.pdf that you have made. Okay, sir. So, is it visible? Uh, yes, uh, it is visible. Yes, sir. Okay, five report cards you have made. By yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Manasini. It was indeed a good, very good presentation made by you and you have uh, demonstrated very nicely so what, are you, the, what, are, what is the advantage of using mail merge please tell so all of the, you. yes sir the advantages of uh, using the mail merge it saves your time uh, very much that uh, if you are preparing the letter for 100 of people if you need you need to prepare only one letter and that will print for 100 Okay, for hundred people, the I, I think the content is same. Only the recipient name and other details differs. Yes, sir. But what if, if the content differs? Can we use mail merge? If the content of letter differs completely, including name details and the content of the letter means body of the letter. If uh, the content differs, can we use mail merge? So no idea about it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 
sir please uh, share your valuable feedback and a question you would like to ask please sir already you have asked so not needed okay thank you thank you sir okay thank you manaswini now yes, we will we'll move on to the next topic uh, metaverse and it will be presented by sambhav ponda sambhav uh, please start your presentation Yes, Sambhav, please uh, start your presentation. Your screen is visible. So please start. Sambhav, your voice is not coming at all. Sir, is his voice coming? Yes, sir. Uh, I am uh, audible. Uh, and he, you are also audible. No, no, sir. My voice is coming. Uh, might be coming. I am asking. Uh, can you hear Sambhav voice? No, 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 sir. No, sir. Sambhav, if you can hear all of us, please uh, check your audio connectivity. There is an issue with your audio connectivity. We are not able to hear your voice. Sambhav, can you hear us? Can you hear Sarah and me? Okay, Sambhav, uh, please wait for some time and uh, try to uh, sort out your audio connectivity issue. Okay, please stop sharing and uh, try to sort out your issue. After one topic, again, I will present your topic. Okay, please check your audio connectivity. I request if... Ah, yes, yes. Now your, now your voice is coming. Now your voice is coming. Thank you. Continue. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, judges, principal, teachers, and participants. My name is Sambhu Panda from class 5, section F. Today, my topic is metaverse. What is metaverse? While it is quite hard to define it, we will give a working definition. A metaverse is simply a wide expanse of digital space where users can interact with each other in real time and get similar experiences, what they experience in the real world. And in most cases, even more, this definition of the metaverse highlights a crucial point. The fact that it's a, it is a wide expanse of a digital realm that can be said to be continuing the realm of the real world. The only reason why we put the real world in double quotes is that it is conceptually hard to distinguish between what the metaverse is and what the non-metaverse is. This is where its core features come in. A metaverse infinite. The metaverse is an extension of what we define as real because it is not limited by the physical spaces of the world that we operate in. It can be said to be extending to infinity. There is no end of to the metaverse. A metaverse is a thriving economy. This point is a complement to the fast core future feature outlined above. Since it is an extension to the real world, users have the option to offer and receive the same experiences that they would in the real world. For instance, artists can host art shows, philosophers can hold discussions, colleagues can host meetings, and the list is simply endless. A simple token mechanism can be implemented for the exchange of value. A metaverse is interoperable. If we say that the, that the metaverse is simply an extension of our own reality, then how can we define its interoperability? 
and if there is a need for interoperability, then it means that several different metaverses exist in source, right? This is true. But when we say that the metaverse is interoperable, it means that whatever skin I choose for my character in a particular conception of metaverse can also be ported easily over to another conception that is being implemented by a separate entity. Now that we have discussed what metaverse conceptually is, let's look at some of the most popular metaverses that exist today. <clears throat> Let us understand Decentraland. Decentraland is one of the most well-known metaverses to exist in the market today. The amount of money spent within the metaverse has seen a steady increase since it was launched in 2016, given its edge. A community already exists around the platform and even some bigger brands have started marketing slash advertising their products on the platform. In a nutshell, it is a virtual world and government that is based entirely on blockchain. What truly makes it special is that it is wholly decentralized. It also uses NFTs to signify difference representation says ownership of in-game items like clothes, virtual real estate, and so on. These tokens are stored in users' wallets. How does decentralized work? The metaverse uses the dual token economy model with two primary tokens, land and mana. The latter mana is the native token of the platform and gives its holders the voting power to participate in the decentralized DAO mana. To vote on major governance decisions, users lock their mana. Wrap means wrapped mana in the DAO. Thus, its mana represents a singular vote in governance proposals. The token can easily be acquired on the decentralized marketplace by simply selling digital items that you have collected. Land. This is an NFT that represents ownership of the virtual real estate on the platform. This token too provides voting power to the holders. Just like most metaverses, users in Decentraland can create and slash or sell experiences on the virtual land that they buy slash rent out. You can easily buy land on the Decentraland marketplace in addition to that, when navigating through the metaverse, you need a digital wallet like MetaMask to participate. Blocktopia. Blocktopia offers an incredible and slightly interesting story. It's a VR crypto skyscraper that is powered by the Polygon network. It consists of 21 levels that are said to pay recognition to the limited 21 million supply of Bitcoins. Blocktopia claims to offer an incredible collective space for crypto users of all experience levels. All of them have access to crypto information. Okay, and Sambhav, Sambhav, thank you for your presentation. Uh, apart from this uh, Blocktopia, do you have any other uh, topic? Yes, sir. Subtopic? What? Just you scroll down. Uh, what are the topics that you are having? I even see examples. There are more games that is there are more metaverses games. I also okay, it is all about metaverse. Okay, thank you, thank you, yes. Sambhav. So we need to stick to the time constraint uh, as well. Okay, so Barda sir, please share your uh, feedback, valuable feedback, and any questions. Oh, you have told metaverse. You have told about uh, uh, that uh, Sambhav. Somehow you have described about that metaverse that the word interoperability. What is yes, the meaning of that and interoperability? Uh, I think you have downloaded some information from net and reading only. No, sir, I have collected some of that information. I have not pasted such, I have collected. So what you have done about this project, Metaverse? What is that? What you have done? Project what you have done? You have collected information and read it out only. What you have done? 
what you have done about the metaverse like one you have uh, collected information from various sources and made, make one presentation and it is said only this much you are doing so only collected information and uh, presenting only this much something you should do for the project means what project means it is to solve your problem any problem you identify and you take one strategy to solve that problem this is called project but your what problem you are uh, taken and uh, metaverse is solving that uh, problem you are not asking me about that only you are asking what is metaverse am i correct yes sir so yes, sir, i i i also agree with you sir so it is a sincere appeal uh, to all the participants so dear participants uh, next time I, whenever in your future endeavors whenever you will be uh, given any assignment to uh, any topic to be presented so be very uh, creative in your approach okay uh, so never uh, just download the contents uh, which are uh, you know a uh, bit advanced for you just uh, don't do that okay don't uh, download contents from internet and simply make a presentation go so it is not at all advice okay you can use the internet resources okay you can download existing content but be little bit uh, uh, creative and innovative okay try to explore uh, more information and be very particular about your topic don't take a uh, very large domain which is very difficult at your end to present in a time bound manner okay stick to a particular topic and uh, uh, whenever you are uh, presenting any uh, project so be creative in your approach okay i think sir you agree with me sir do you agree yes sir i am agree okay thank you sir thank you sambhav now we'll move on to the last topic of our uh, Uh, today's session uh, that is mail march and it will be presented by shreyan spotnight shreyan are you there shreyans? yes sir i am there so shreyan please uh, present please continue with your presentation yes sir sir is my screen visible uh, yes yes your screen is visible please carry on okay, okay sir good evening respected judges teachers and my dear friends i am stress project class 5 section f of dab public school unit 8 standing before you to exhibit my topic mail march on hearing the name a question might come to your head what is mail march well mail march feature is used to send mails to addresses automatically by adding names and addresses from a list or database into the letter this is a feature within most data processing applications like ms word open office etc it is mainly used for creating or keeping multiple copies of letters invitations etc in a single document it can also be sent to multiple recipients or people instantly at the same time schools and colleges also use it to create admit cards personalized birthday cards and also to communicate with the parents teachers and also with the students components of mail merge mail merge is created by combining two main documents which are also called its components The first major component of mail merge is the main document. It is the document that contains the text and graphics that are the same for each copy of the merge document. The information in the main document is same for all recipients. The next major component is the data source or address block. It stores individual information and is also called a data file. Data source is a file that stores the information to be merged into a document. For example, the list of names and addresses, 
city, pin, telephone number, etc. You want to use in a mail merge. By combining the main document and the data source, we finally get a merge document which is sent to all the recipients in the data source. This is a diagram of mail merge. This is the data source and this is the main document. By combining these two, we finally get a merge document which is delivered to all the people in the data source. Mail merge also puts an impact on the society. It helps us to create personalized letters which attract the society and helps to develop strong bonds of relations with each other. Mail merge puts an impact on the environment as it also helps in conserving the environment and also helps in saving electricity. Mail merge's main use is that it can write multiple letters, invitations, etc. in one single document. In the normal way, multiple letters would have been printed causing the printer to work for a very long time. As a result, more energy would have been used and hence more electricity would also have been used. Electricity is often generated by burning coal which is harmful for our environment. Using mail merge, thousands of letters or invitations can be printed in a very short period of time causing the printer to work for a very short time which is beneficial for our environment and also saves electricity. The main purpose of mail merge is to send personal letters and also to write or send multiple letters in a single document. All these benefits are achieved only with the help of technology. If technology wouldn't have gone so far, we wouldn't have been able to enjoy all its advantages. Now, there are some advantages of mail merge. It saves a lot of time and reduces effort. It is real quick and makes the task much easier to do. Only one letter needs to be created and the rest is done by mail merge. It is also very easy to check just one letter instead of checking thousands of individual letters. A normal letter can also be saved and reused. It means that the same data source can be again and again reused, reducing the risk of mistakes. It is also easier to store information, but we need to update the information time to time. Now I am practically going to show the mail merge steps. Sir, is my other screen visible? No, Sriyans. I think you have only shared your presentation. Please share your uh, screen again. It will be visible. Okay, sir. Let me again share. Sir, is now it is visible? Yes. Now, now your screen is visible. Okay, sir. First, we have to go to the location and open the main document. So now it has here opened and we have to go to the mailing tab. After going to the mailing tab, we have to start the mail merge step by step by the mail merge wizard. So here we have to select the starting document and next we have to select the recipient list from our computer. After browsing for the recipient list, we can also see if any corrections need to be done and we can also correct them. If everything is all right, we have to click on OK and we have to insert the merge fields accordingly. Inserting all the merge fields, we have to finish and print the entire document. We can also customize 
the page numbers current record etc here we can also customize the page range the type of printers the number of copies etc as per our wish and before the printing we have also to give a name in which it will be saved in our computer i have given this name and we have to save and print the entire document after printing it we have to go to the location and click here and open the merge document so as you can see here the merge document okay open. thank you thank you sriyans thank you Varda sir, please uh, share your valuable feedback and uh, the question you would like to ask, please. Um, Sreyas, uh, you have uh, generated that uh, multiple uh, documents. Yes, sir. Adding different recipients' address. Yes, sir. Yes, but. Uh, how this uh, multiple documents can be sent to different email id do you know because we are saying it mail merge yes sir we are not telling it that merge documents we are telling it mail merge mail merge means that the multiple documents can be mailed to different recipients yes okay. sir so how can it be done do you know no sir sorry sir i don't have idea okay but you are telling mail merge so mail merge means that you you have not analyzed that would be what why it is called mail merge so it is should be merge document because we are merging our different document so it should be merge document but why we are telling mail merge means that multiple documents can be sent to different email id This is why we are telling mail merge. But how can it be done? So you have not learned. Yes, sir. Sir, actually, I thought that the meaning of mail merge is that uh, the mails means the different recipients. Okay, okay, okay. So who has uh, guided to you to do this project? Sir, my computer man. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. and thank you sriams for for your presentation okay uh, prithesh das are you present prithesh das prab she is absent okay so may i now request niharika madam to propose the vote of the vote of thanks so madam please good evening all the dear participants honorable judges principal ma'am and uh, all the participants uh, at the outset i want to tell that the presentation is really very good all of you presented uh, the portion in a very uh, nice way uh, because of you the this exhibition has become a successful one okay i can say all the junior students and sub junior students their presentation was really wonderful you have put your lot of effort to prepare this project okay children very soon you will get your result and uh, the recording of the whole program children by monday you will find in youtube subject wise it will be uploaded in youtube you can get the uh, you can see the your presentation you can show your presentation to your friends and family members children thank you very much you can leave now thank you madam thank you varga sir and all
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir and ma'am.